You it is good you it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing another episode of our no money spent squad a series and before I do that I want you guys to see if you log in every single day this week you get the Ruby Rui Hachimura for free and I'm telling you guys right now Hachimura is really as solid in my team. So that's something I'm super excited to get. One of our first priorities is this holiday event, this Christmas event, and making the most of it. And after every win, you get prizes. And you guys can see some of the prizes. You can get like, a, you know, a obviously MT with that. You can get packs with that. There's a lot of things to look at. In yesterday's episode, guys, we did grind out Jalen Suggs, uh, Franz Wagner, add that duo. We also picked up Brandon Miller and added him to the squad as well. Now, one thing I've kind of been slacking on is clearing out my collection. Now, what do I mean by this? I don't really care about, uh, I don't specifically care too much about my badges. But when it comes down to these shoe boost guys, eventually I need to go through and sell all these. Because, and you guys probably need to do the same thing. You have just so much MT, even, even these gold ones, I don't need these. You guys have so much MT just sitting in your collection. So when it comes down to the holiday event, how many presents do I have right now? I have three. Can I today get enough presents to open this Tis the Season Future base pack? You could save up for the deluxe pack if you wanted to, but for me, who knows? Maybe I could rip that base pack. And, and again, this is, this is positively thinking, but who knows? Maybe Wemby could pop out of that pack. I've seen crazier things that have happened. So today, I'm actually, could I go into, I'm gonna go into triple threat offline, probably. I could go into triple threat online, but I don't really feel like sweating. So we're gonna go into triple threat offline. I wanna showcase Brandon Miller a little bit more for us today. We're gonna add Christmas packs to our collection, which again, hopefully I can pull something good. Hopefully I can get to six presents. If I do that, guys, we're gonna be moving and grooving for this base pack and then see what we can pull. And even out of these holiday packs, guys, you can pull Amis, you can pull Sapphires, you can pull good cards that can help out your squad. During this event, I'd recommend grinding Triple Threat. Whether that's Triple Threat Offline, whether that's Co-op, whether that's Triple Threat Online, I don't care, but the most important thing you guys want to do is get through wins quickly. Do y'all always just gotta make things so difficult on us, man? Yo, 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 Brandon Miller, please. I'm not even asking for much, man. Can you just knock down a shot? Yeah, that's, that's the last game Brandon Miller is going to be playing in Triple Threat Offline. Still got it through it in three minutes. Why do we got to make things so difficult? So the Holiday Event Pack, boom. Then a Tournament Battles Base Pack, boom. Awesome. Two great things to add to my collection to start it off today. And then what I would do if I was you is open these up right away. Now why? Because if you get coal, you want to open that up right away so then the timer has time to reset. On my other account, I did a pack opening. Watch my Christmas uh, event or holiday event pack opening. See what, you know, I, I pulled. But that way, you, you know, you're giving yourself a chance for it to reset. Now I'm going to try to get through this next game as quickly as possible. Now the problem with this is I don't have like, oh, I guess I do have Devin Booker. Never mind. I forgot I had D-Book on this account. I'm going to try in this game to get through it in less than two minutes. And I'm already at five seconds of recording. This might be impossible. I start with the ball. I think it'll be possible. We'll have to see though. We'll have to see. I don't know for sure if it's going to even be possible. The big thing here is as long as I knock down seven threes, it, it should go as quickly as I want it to. Again, leave them wide open. Josh Hart, he might miss. And if he misses, we're gone with the ball again. This is the way you get through games games quickly and this is the way you're really gonna see your MT skyrocket as long as I don't miss wide opens like that but uh, you you know what I'm saying like this is the way you can see your MT go from five to you know says 7,000 super quickly now obviously I'm not gonna get through this game as quickly as I wanted to because I'm missing shots giving up offensive rebounds and just not doing what I need to do but this is your best MT making method I got through that game in two minutes in 10 seconds it's crazy. I didn't wait and see the MT, but I could have. Meanwhile, you can grind XP as well. Now, I'm never going to get Jimmy Butler, but it's just something extra you guys could grind. Holiday event pack, 500 extra MT. I'll take MT any time I can get it. And then a shoe and, and gold, the shoe boost pack. 
perfect. I mean, awesome, awesome, awesome. Adding things to our collection. Now, the moment we do get enough for, uh, for, for that base pack is the moment we're done playing. And that's something you guys can do as well. If you just want to open base pack after base pack, give you guys some motivation to do that, you absolutely can do that as well. What I am away, I'm basically four and a half out of the six total things I need for this base pack. Let's get it another game. After that one game, I got basically 600 MT in a two minute game. I got a Christmas pack. I've got uh, I've, I've got this, uh, th this door game to play. That's where you're gonna notice your MT stack up. And anytime I see MT, I take it. Because I, I, I don't want a badge pack. I don't want anything else. So I basically got 900 MT, a holiday event pack, and I'll be in my next game in, a, in the course of three minutes. If you do that 20 times, guys, you will notice your MT definitely stack up. Obviously, you gotta sometimes come in here and do the exchanges. Get me another present and reset that cool timer as we are awaiting one more present to get this base pack. Let's get it. Another easy game, another easy win, and honestly, another reason I like Triple Threat Offline is you can kick your feet up, man. Watch, watch YouTube, watch Netflix, and grind it. And again, you're gonna notice your MT go way up by just doing what I'm doing, grinding it. Anytime you see MT, you take the MT, and then I would not, if I'm you guys, go for the base packs. I would save up for the MT. I think that's probably the best method, the best way to do it. Uh, is you know, every time you get 30 presents, get that 25,000 MT. MT. And then before you notice it, you will notice your account go to that next level. Another game of Triple Threat Offline done. And you guys see my level progress. Obviously, I'm not grinding for Jimmy Butler, but my level progress throughout these few games has went way up. One thing I also want to talk about, I could get this series one pack, but at this stage, I'd rather just have MT than deal with the headache of pulling a duplicate, having to sell it. One thing I do want to bring up, in this episode today, guys, I've already made 5,000 MT. Super easy, super effective, as I do get another present card, in which everybody knows what that means. A free base pack, let's get it uh, and see what I pull. If you do want to open up packs, I'd recommend you guys saving up for the deluxe packs. Obviously, for me, I'm not patient enough to do that. So we're going to open up this base pack, see what happens. What are the odds I can pull like a Wemby or Kobe? If I do that, man... I would absolutely lose my marbles, lose my mind. The big problem I have with these packs is outside of those guys, I don't really care about a lot of these cards. Like some of the budget guys are good. Like even if I pulled Brandon Miller, I mean, I would I would swap out mine and sell mine. So that would be fine as well. But the problem is a lot of these cards aren't great. Now, if you are grinding card collector level, these types of packs are fine because you pull a gold buddy healed add him to the collection, add a few badges. That's another way to look at things. That's gonna wrap it up for our episode today. Grinding MT, grinding the holiday event, trying to pull something crazy, obviously with uh, no pack luck today. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're doing it as always, man. I love you guys, have a blessed day.